Hello, for my second tutorial, I'm going to be explaining layers, what they are, how you can set one up, and a couple other settings. Okay, so what is a layer? A layer is a channel that plays other channels. When would I use this? I'd use this when I want more than one channel to be played at the same time. But I don't have to play, I don't have to program in each time they're playing together. So how do I add one? I go to channels, add one, layer. It's at the top. It's not in alphabetical order like all of the other channels. You can see that I just added a channel, a layer channel. I'm just going to change the color so it's a bit more prominent. Let's say I'm in a situation where I want to play both my kick and my snare at the same time, but I don't want to have to put in every time they're both played. And I want them both to be, I want when they're both played to be in a separate channel so I can just look in the piano roll and see, oh, there's when both my kick and my snare are played. I open up my channel settings box, then I go back to my step sequencer. I shift click on the kick and the snare channel. Shift allows me to click and, and select more than one channel at once. Now I press set children. What just happened is the kick and the snare were routed into this layer. So I'm, now you can see that when I play the keyboard on this box, both the kick and the snare are played. Look. So as you saw, both the kick and the snare were played when I pressed any key in this layer. Um, one setting which is useful is allowing one channel to be more prominent than the other, uh, a bit louder. So you check off this crossfade box and then you change the fade. That, make, that makes one of the channels louder than the other one. Now another useful setting is um, splitting them. So let's say I'm in a situation where I don't want both to be played at the same time, but I want them both to be organized in one layer, like a drum kit. So I'd go, I'd press this triangle, and i press split. What just happened is it assigned the kick to one key and the snare to another key. So as I press this key, the kick is gonna go up, is gonna play. And now when I press this key, the snare is going to play. So as I said before, this is useful if you want a drum kit like setup. And yeah, there are a bunch of other settings and ways to use layers, but this, that's all I'm going to cover in this video. Thank you.